Hey y'all, good to see you. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make a crab roll from New England and um, it's very inexpensive. Um, it won't cost you a lot of money to make this. I bought a cluster of snow crab like this. It's here at $6.99 a pound so this would cost you under three dollars, maybe like two dollars and fifty cents or less and we'll make um, two uh, crab rolls nicely. What I'm going to do is take um, two hot dog buns and put them in my um, toaster oven just like this and toast them up. And then I'm going to take the crab and put it over here in about maybe two cups of water. Okay, that's what I have here and steam them for 10 minutes, okay? And then I'll be right back to show you the rest. Hang on. Okay, now we're gonna steam the crab cluster like this for maybe eight to 10 minutes. Covered, just like that, and Maybe halfway through you can shut the power all the way off and just let them continue to uh, heat up. Just leave the cover on and cook them maybe 8 to 10 minutes just until they are warmed up and not frozen no more. Okay, we got the toasted bread. Now we're going to crack out the crab meat after we let it cool just a little bit. We break off the legs, like so. They're still just a little bit hot, but that's okay. And we're gonna take these end pieces like this and put them in a bowl. We can pick these out just a little bit later. And eat them and use them um, for um, Stock. So I'll put these little pieces aside like this and basically you crack them like so and take the crab meat out and if they don't come out so nice that's fine. Then they have um, something that can pick the meat out like this. You can use this and pick the crab meat out onto the bread. These were just not cooperating. Usually um, you can get the meat out really really easy. These guys won't work, but that's okay. like this. Crack. Open. Pick the meat out. Like so. And to most people this this might be a lot of work, but it's really not. It's not that hard. Just gotta be patient and all the meat out. Look at that big piece of meat there. There you go. And you can usually get out of one cluster you can get a good couple sandwiches. Sometimes it takes more work, sometimes not. So I'll at least get one sandwich and show you. And it's shell free. There's there's not a lot of shells. You, 
ones where you can't get a lot of stuff, just put them in a bowl. You can pick at them later. Or make some kind of stock from it. But look, look, like this one here. Easy money. There you go. Right there. Easy, 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 easy. Other ones. You get to work like the Dickens. It's okay. Like I said, if, if you can't get what you want, you still got the meat, you still got the stock. Lots of meat here. So today we got all this extra for stock, which is fine. Okay. And we still end up with this awesome sandwich. Which I'm gonna use a squirt butter because I don't want to soak the toasted bread like this. I'm gonna use the uh, toasted butter with a little bit of uh, cayenne pepper like that and I have a Florida version of a crab sandwich mm. doesn't cost a lot of money didn't take a lot of work I said two dollars and fifty cents I got the sandwich I still got this for stock and it didn't take a lot of time and oh my god it's so good and simple it doesn't need all kind of extras but I gotta have my butter and cayenne because I like it spicy but uh mm. very good and I said that didn't take a lot of work and Think about what a uh, Big Mac cost. That didn't cost that much. Didn't take that much work. Buy it. Hope you like it. I'm Clyde from Jacksonville, Florida. Can't wait to show you when I go to uh, Kay's in Fitchburg, Massachusetts in three weeks. I'm going to show you some clams and scallops that are outrageous. Love you all. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.